got a nice little ass, nigga. Give me your ass, nigga. Nigga, you see me looking at you, nigga. Give me your ass, nigga. No, stay away. Hey, Brown. Brown, now let's pause right there. Mark Grayson, who was once a naive little kid who just wanted to be a superhero just like his dad. But in the end, he ended up like complete shit despite that. So let's rewind that, shall we, to where it all first began. Are you serious, Grayson? Oh, come on. It's only the first episode and you're getting your ass beat by this minion boss, bro. You had to get saved by this ugly behemoth too. Luckily, Mark managed to unlock his superpowers and we even see him doing a little flying. I believe I am able to fly and that I can go up to the sky. Sometimes I think about it all the time. Spread my arms and fly up in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we see Mark and Omni-Man doing a little father-son training. Real wholesome moment, but it was this one punch. Ah! Mark realized he was not that guy, bruh. And this was only the beginning of the end. Now we see Mark on his first mission with the teen team. Pretty lame fucking name, by the way. Mark was in deep shit until we see him unlock his main character power. And he was cooking! Yo, the Air Force itself made these bum-ass aliens skyrocket away. He even got a little barrage over there, but then pussy-ass aliens dipped. We all thought this was a moment of victory for the team, but this show said nah, it ain't over. These same bum-ass aliens came back with a fucking bionicle for his get back. Bo grabbed his leg, threw his ass like a fucking ragdoll, gave him that Hulk slam, and now he's the one getting barraged, bro. Until Daddy Omni Man had to come and save him. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with your village or my jeans? Your dad wiped out the whole fucking planet. No way the gap between you two is that big. But don't worry, his victimhood has only just started. So we see Mark linking up with Titan, who's basically just a ripoff version of Cyborg as Stone. Then we see these two trying to jump on Mechamaru. But he was like, nah, cuh, you fell right into my trap card. And now he's doing the jumping. Mark is being humbled. We see him getting comboed by Lava Man and Electro. This is not fucking Black Clover, bruh. Bro is getting thrown around again by this guy with his sweet frog ass tongue. Nah, how are you getting your ass beat by human villains, bro? But Mark was not gonna let that shit slide. Bro pulled a 3v1 clutch on these clowns. He was thinking to himself, I can do this. I believe in myself. I am him. You are a worthless bitch ass nigga. So then we see the whole team pull up. You know what? I actually thought they were going to get back for Mark. But nope, this was just a whole fucking waste of time. Because they just ended up getting folded anyways. And that's when we see the most devious moment in this show. He thought this planet was going to be a challenge. But nope, this team is just full of frauds. So he just slams this motherfucker. My vital organs! <laughs> and lick the blood off that shit. Nah. Yo, Mark's team is actually fucking garbage. Imagine the guy trying to save you and his suit just malfunctioned in mid-battle. What the fuck was blood trying to accomplish without his suit? He toyed with him like a fucking Lego piece. Even Princess Fiona over here couldn't do shit. She's getting stampeded on. They are not built for this. The only reason why they escaped alive is because he just dipped because he was bored of these frauds. Yo, how the fuck did Mechamaru over here even get a beast like this in the first place? Literally in the next episode, we see Mark getting bullied by these fucking zombie cyborgs made by the fucking weird kid in class. Mark only ended up surviving because it's gay BFF Takno Jutsu, one of the bots. But yo, he got a clean hit on the weirdo kid. Look at his fucking jawline. That shit is permanent. There's no going back. Now we're on the Mark and Amber scene. Now this scene may not be brutal physically, but verbally it's just hard to watch. It is bottom of the barrel. 
This fucking bitch is giving shit to Mark because he was keeping his identity as a secret. She knew everything beforehand for weeks and yo ass is complaining? What's more surprising, Mark is letting this shit slide bruh. I just want to smash that fucking forehead. But you know what? I gotta give props to the writers for teaching us a valuable lesson on why you should never date black women. Now we're on the season 1 finale. Omni-Man revealed to Mark that he ain't them pussy ass peace loving kryptonites. Nah, we're the smoke knights. We conquer planets, fuck their bitches, breed, and then dip bro. And this planet is next. Mark is not gonna let that shit slide. But let's be real, what the fuck is he even gonna do? It's fucking Omni-Man he's up against. What the hell was Cecil thinking sending military jets on him? This is the same demon that no dipped an alien planet. What the fuck are human weapons gonna do to him? Yo, this is just sad, bruh. Mark was taking up so much effort to save this one pilot's life. And Omni-Man just crushed it like it was nothing. Damn, he makes our species look like trash. And look at Mark. He's just sent flying like a cannonball. So we see a bunch of civilians enjoying their everyday life. And then BOOM! Buildings and roads are getting crushed. The people are evacuating. And wait, 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 wait a second. What the fuck is this dog shit CGI animation? Y'all asses were making us wait for season 2 with animation like this. Mark tries to saving a little girl from falling off a building. But this is invincible. So you know she's squashed like a bug. So Mark tells him. How could you do this? And Omni-Man responds. Bitch, this is on you. It's your own weakness that those fathers died. And fuck your mom too. She was a good rounder too, but I never thought that such a weak ass kid is my son. So Omni-Man just uses Mark's face to just crush an entire subway and tells him, I don't give a fuck about no weak ass monkeys. I only love violence. So then Mark tries to get back and he just weaves. Weep. And Omni-Man just gave him the slow motion stare down bro. Bro thinks he's the Flash. So as Omni-Man is just dragging him around like Broly, we get to see the infamous mountain scene. Bro tells him that his whole 17 years of existence ain't shit. And he'll just fuck a badder bitch than the last. So he just barrages this motherfucker like he's Senator Armstrong. But then blood just started having flashbacks and it's all like, Will you give up, bruh? You really want to die like a bitch instead of becoming the ultimate op? We got bitches that live for 500 years. All the hoes you got will be dead by then. So Mark replies, Well, well, well we got anime waifu titties, Belle Delphine, Amaret, Sniper Wolf, Pokemane, and my personal favorite, Gawagura. So then Omni-Man just dips in tears. So fast forward, we see Mark getting beaten by the fucking Mauler twins of all people. Is this nigga serious? But these are the same guys that are getting whooped by robots Mechasu. I don't give a fuck if there's five or six of them. What is wrong with your my genes? But ends up getting spared because this punk ass didn't want to kill people and... Oh my god, this bum is hideous, bro. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You're seriously blaming this on Mark? This is all on you, you pathetic bastard. Anyways, it finally happened. Mark and Omniman linked up after that ass whooping. He told him, Mark, I'm sorry, but this bug pussy was too good. Way better than your mom's. That's why I have this little shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. So Omniman tells him, You're gonna need an anime training arc. Cause I can't let no son of mine be this much of a fraud. But out of nowhere, this Cleveland looking ass pulled up saying, Prove to me you are worthy of the Viltrumite Empire. But unsurprisingly, he was not at all. Mark is getting fingered by him. Ayo, pause! So Daddy Omni-Man had to come and save him, and he humbled this bum. He slit his fucking stomach and finished him off with this spiked up rock. It's crazy. Then these two other Viltrumites pulled up and now they want the smoke. On Mark's end, it is not looking good. He's getting his ass beaten by this old ass bitch. She's throwing him around with her fucking ponytail 
What is that shit made out of? He's getting folded like fucking Riley from the grandma. So Omni Man tells him, Mark, you weak ass bitch. You're getting bodied by grandma. Jesus, did your mom do crack when she was pregnant? Because my semen is not that weak. Get your ass off and get your lip back. So Mark was not gonna let this shit slide. He's actually cooking for once. He did a block, then gave her a two piece jabber. We see this montage of just pure smash attacks. Look at bro's face, it's split in half. Right when Mark was gonna give the finishing blow, this old bitch just cheap shotted him. And Omni Man was not gonna let that shit slide. He grabbed her hair and then elbowed that shit. Look at her mouth, bro. Shit looks like Jeff the Killer. Just when we thought it was all over. Cleveland came back and just stampeded this motherfucker. What the hell? He's wrapping his organs with his suit. So then this pirate Viltrumite told Mark, it's either you conquer the planet peacefully or we're gonna pull up with all the ops. So fast forward, we see Mark and Amber on a day, but then another op pulled up for the smoke. This motherfucker Mark can never get a break. I don't get why Mark is just tweaking at this point. When she tried to kill Amber, that's a W, honestly. It's crazy how one Viltrumite alone is already a worldwide threat. So then Anissa starts gaslighting Mark by telling, Listen, this planet is dog shit. Humanity is going to lose countless lives, all because your kind is letting these lazy fat pigs who sit on their asses all day eating McDonald's while the rest of the world is eating off their shit. And yet here you are letting this slide. We got a civilization like Meet the Robinsons. We got technology like Rick Sanchez. Be grateful, dumbass. But their conversation is interrupted because this sea slug, I don't even know what the fuck to call it. Mark was struggling once again like, come on, are you serious? Just when I thought you were unlocking your main character power. Now you're back to square bum. But then Anissa just no dips that shit and cleans the blood off with just sheer air force. I ain't gonna lie. Watching this scene made me think she bad as shit. Yo, she got that monkey build. So then she tells Mark that this is your last chance, but he refuses. So then she says, You fucking ungrateful orangutan. You're cooked now, bitch. So she just speed blitzed on Mark, gave him that upper chin like Nichi. She then instant transmission and just gave him a devious back shot. Mark got one lucky hit, but he just starts weaving gets sent flying anyways and then she tells him listen your race is hopeless it's full of weave trash edps twitter users furries shippers only fan sips lgbt and discord mods get over yourself bruh but mark says he ain't no bitch bro thought he was slick by trying to speed blitz which got hit with a huge counter she is just stomping on him like fucking Levi. Mark tells him, you need me, bitch. And that alone had her dip. Now we're in the finale and oh my god, this bum again? Jesus, no one gives a fuck about you. Even Mark could have remembered who this background character is. This guy is just yapping, thinking he's someone special. And why the fuck did Mark not just speed blitz him at this moment? He decided to do it when this guy charged up. So now he's in a talking dinosaur dimension, then he got sent to a fake ass Spider-Man dimension. Mark tried a little talk no jutsu, but that just backfired. He then starts having flashbacks of every single version of Mark that just bodied him. But once Mark came back with a Fortnite sniper? Now that's just crazy. Yo, Mark had so many chances in this scene to just surprise attack him. He's literally wasting time. This bone was really tweaking all because Mark's mom says, You're the real villain in all of this. Her arm is just destroyed. So we see Mark in just a bunch of random dimensions, but he managed to outplay Bumstrom. When Mark saw what he did to his mom, there's only one thing going through his head. GET BACK, NIGGA! Bro just sent him flying, but this punk ass said he got an upgrade and just started having this chicken fight with Mark. This asshole actually thinks he's gonna win. However, this doesn't end until you and your family are dead. Stop threatening my family! It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. 
yes, finally, Mark unlocked his main character power and he's cooking him. Do you hear that soundtrack? Like father, like son, he humbled this motherfucker. Invincible finally got his lick back. It's a miracle. And so his victimhood finally ends right here. Or at least I hope so. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Give a like and a sub.